Thank you so much for uh, meeting with us this evening. Uh, could you tell us your name? Inspector Fromage. Inspector Fromage. Do you have a first name or just Fromage? Inspector. <laughs> very Fromage. nice, very nice. Tell us, uh, Inspector Fromage, tell us a little bit about yourself. Where are you from? Yes, well, originally I'm from England, uh, a little country next to France, <laughs> but in the water. <laughs> Yes. What Americans you... may know it as Great Britain, mm -hmm. except only part of Great Britain. Um, and what do you do for a living? <laughs> it's stupid. <laughs> it's a fromage. Tell us about what you do for a living. Oh, I protect the art at the Heathersby Museum. Mm. The greatest art museum in all of Boston, and indeed all the world. And what would you describe as your strategy for dealing with potential thieves? Uh, thieves. I identify, and then I crush. Ah, in, in, interesting. You know, and what goes into this sort of detection and identification of, of thieves? Why do you want to know? I just, I, I'm just. I'm sorry. You're just asking a lot of questions. I find it rather suspicious. Ah, uh, well, I, uh, I, I don't. I, I promise, I don't plan on heisting uh, any, any, anything. Wow, I'm just curious. Yes, of course, of course. Well, for, yes. for the piece, so, so what, what kind of uh, techniques go into uh, solving a, a heist or finding criminals? Well, let's just say that there are lots of unexpected things involved. Unexpected traps of a kind. Uh, in, in, um, I, I figure you have to have some sort of background or education inside. In, this sort of building traps, or where did you learn your craft? Yes, I, w I used to work at a zoo. <clears throat> at a zoo? Yes. Uh, Animals can be quite crafty. Indeed, human beings are simply a type of animal. One learns these things when one works at a zoo. Oh. I'm looking at and zoos in a different light this year then. Um, you were telling on the way over here um, something about um, something that happened with uh, ice cream. Yes, ice cream. I do enjoy ice cream. So there's a, something that you, you, you so how you got into to, to sort of law enforcement. Something about a something happened in your your hometown. Ah, uh, perhaps you refer to the great injustice. Yes, of exactly. 1987. Uh, yes. Tell well, us about that. In the summer of 1987, I went into an ice cream parlor an ice cream parlor that I enjoy very much and frequent, mostly on Saturdays and Wednesdays after 4 p.m. This happened to be a Wednesday after 4 p.m. There was a small child asking for a vanilla ice cream cone. However, the store owner was out of vanilla ice cream and refused to replenish his supply so that this young child could get his vanilla ice cream. I enjoy vanilla ice cream very much and I thought this an injustice and I said so to the store owner and he said, sorry, there's nothing he could do. Well, I knew there was. So I took myself to the local dairy farm and I stripped off my jacket and I stripped off my shirt and I began to milk those cows until I got five buckets of milk and then I ground them together with ice, made vanilla ice cream, filled the tub with it. <laughs> filled it. Made vanilla ice cream. Start cutting here. <laughs> <laughs> Camera shaking anyway. Filled it up with it and dragged it back to that store just before the little boy left. And I got him his ice cream. And then I beat the snot out of the store owner. Hmm. Interesting. What you've had a great deal of success being in such a high position um, as the Heathersby House. Um, what would you attribute your, your great success to? Cunning. Uh, so if someone wanted to grow up to be just like Inspector Fromage, what, what do you recommend them do for the kids at home? <laughs> yes. Well, I would encourage them all to fight each other, to weed out the weak. For you see, you cannot be weak wish to guard art. No, the thieves who try to steal art are very strong of mind and body and agility. You must be cunning. You must be faster than them. You must be smarter than them. You must be bigger than them. You must be drier than them. Hmm. A little known fact. Very interesting. And um, uh, a lot of our viewers are interested in um, the other side of fromage, if there is one. Tell us a little bit about 
up your other side. Um, <laughs> I was speaking metaphorically. Um, <laughs> the other side of you, the, the softer side. There's been rumor that, uh, that you have hobbies. What kind of hobbies do you have? Yes. Well, I do collect statuettes of unicorns. Statuettes of unicorns? Yes. I admire the unicorn very much. It's considered to be a feminine imaginary animal, but truly, there's nothing more masculine than a unicorn. And you'd better not mess with an angry unicorn. Trust me, I used to work at a zoo, I know. And is there a Mrs. Inspector Fermat? No, there isn't. Could there be one in the picture? There might be. Why are you asking so many questions? Uh, that? I I there were interested questions. viewers might be Yes. Interested. Well, I have my eye on many people <coughs> for various reasons, and I, there could be a Mrs. Inspector Fromage in the future, yes, of course, um, anything could happen. Last question, um, if you could, I mean, we're all interested in going to the Heathersby house, it can be a little bit expensive, why should we come? What's it, give us your pitch. Well. <clears throat> The Heathersby House contains the rarest and most diverse art collection on the entire continent of the United States. Yes, millions of dollars of treasure to feast your eyes upon, but never, ever to touch or even get within 1.7 feet of. And if I were a thief and I was thinking about stealing something from the Heathersby House, why should I not go to the Heathersby House? <laughs> yes, because you would not come out alive. Or at least, you would come out wishing that you were not alive. Inspector, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, anonymous interviewer.